Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on my thumbnail. In today's video, I want to share with you a little bit of a haul. Part of this haul is a beautiful gift I got from another YouTuber who is just incredible and so sweet. But at the same time, I wanted to do this haul with a little bit of a twist. I wanted to add five tips that are going to help us save a little bit of money during this holiday season and how we can approach buying perfumes, whether it is for a loved one or for ourselves, save a little bit of money or at least increase the value while we spend the money in these perfumes. So if that sounds interesting, stay tuned and we'll get started. If this is your first time here, well, welcome. My name is Moraima. In this channel, I share some of my passions such as fragrance, self-care and decor. I invite you to look around, take a look at a few videos and if this is your vibe, then definitely consider subscribing and becoming a part of the Santa tribe. We have a lot of fun here and I share videos Videos such as this one on a weekly basis so I hope you would consider becoming a part of the family for my returning subscribers how are you doing guys fizz pump what's up I miss you I'm so excited to be here with another video with you so like I said today I have a little bit of a haul but I mainly want to intertwine a few tips because the holiday season is already here a lot of gifts are happening and the idea that I got out of this is because I actually got a value set of a perfume and when I was gonna buy it I saw that there was the actual perfume and an actual value set and obviously I went for the value set that gave me the idea of sharing with you guys a few tips that you can potentially consider if you didn't know them or if it didn't occur to you then definitely this is going to be a good reminder so let's get started with the very first fragrance which is the box that I have over here look at this beautiful beautiful blue box Tiffany blue box because it's from the house of Tiffany so this one let me just open it up for you right I just turquoise or teal turquoise or however we want to call this shade of mint blue or turquoise color or Tiffany blue color has been my favorite color forever since I as long as I can remember and that's one of the reasons that actually attract me to the brand and stuff like that and this fragrance came out this year but you know how it is in Canada we get everything a little bit later so let me open it up and this one is a rose gold guys take a look at this incredible incredible value set so one of the first tips that I have for you is that some of the best deals that you are going to get not only in terms of value but in terms of price is going to be in the designer realm the niche houses they don't have too many deals on a regular basis as far as i in my humble opinion that i have been able to encounter maybe where you live there are stores that throw some deals here and there i know that some luxury stores like neiman marcus or nordstrom or maybe Saks fifth avenue maybe uh, if you're in canada holds renfrew maybe that may have a few little holiday sets but usually niche fragrances don't tend to be too much in the value set you know realm they may do little packagings and stuff like that or holiday packaging so your best deals are going to be in those designer fragrances that you've been eyeing that you've been wanting to add to your collection and those are the ones that you want to prioritize first anyways i have been waiting for rose gold to come out forever <laughs> since it came out obviously and obviously i know i'm not the only one reviewing it in the channel so like i said when i went and checked it out they had the actual bottle on its own and i bought it and then i returned it and then i actually was able to get i, I was able to be one of the last ones to get a hold of the actual set it comes with the lotion and a little mini i have to show you this baby mini once first let's talk about the bottle this is just gorgeous 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 guys look at this so if you haven't seen it just yet this is the latest release of Tiffany it has the same typical bottle as Tiffany as you have seen already here in my channel but it's a rose gold as the name implies it has the little leather band here and it's just gorgeous it is a beautiful fruity floral crisp clean bright exciting is this the type of fragrance that I was expecting to come out like late 2021 in the middle of the temperatures getting a little bit colder not necessarily but again like we have to understand 2020 and 2021 has been a little bit unstable and we don't know if brands had any issues in deliveries or shipments or you know production and so on and so forth 
Nevertheless, I'm super excited to have it. I absolutely love it. This is a 75 ml, I believe. Yes, this is a 75 ml. And obviously, like the Tiffany, the good Tiffany, it has the beautiful mist of angels, you know? Mm, it is so, so beautiful, guys. This is my favorite Tiffany, period. Obviously, I have already reviewed the Intense, which I love, but this one hits different. It's so fresh and beautiful. It reminds me of something that I smelled when I was a little girl and I cannot pinpoint it. And it doesn't smell vintagey and it doesn't smell, you know, like old. It smells very new, very modern, but I feel like I've smelled this before when I was young and I don't know what it is. I just know that I feel very attached to this fragrance and it's just beautiful and I feel like I just ate some of it because I smith so much in the air and I started talking. Anyhow, let me just show you this cute, cute little one that they also give you. Look at this, you know, the mama and the little baby over here. This is just to die for. So for the collectors, you know, this is going to be an incredible little cute things to have. And like I said, they also give you a good size hand lotion. So one of the things that you need to consider is that a lot of these companies are going to give you a lot more for your money when you're going to be buying these fragrances. And I know it's not the ideal fragrance for like the cooler days, but I don't care. This fragrance is another happy fragrance. So I don't know if you saw my video, my recent video where I posted the feel good tag fragrances that I was tagged on. I'm gonna leave the picture over here and the link. You should watch it, definitely. I showcased the, I believe I showcased the other flanker of um, Tiffany. This would have made it. This would have made the list if um, I had it before because it definitely makes me very happy. So I want to share with you the notes we got on the main accords, rose, musky, floral, powdery, fruity, iris, and woody. And for the actual notes, it starts with blackcurrant. I'm a big fan of blackcurrant. I had no idea how much I loved it. Blackcurrant, it has a uh, blue rose, iris, musk, and umbred musk. Mm. So I don't know where the freshness is coming from because obviously we got black currant, we got rose, and let me just double check because um, it has the notes right here. If you see this plaque, it's a rose plaque, and if you turn around the bottle, you can't see it here on the screen, but you can actually see the notes. So the notes are right here on the back, and it says that it has black currant and blue rose and ambred seeds. It probably has more than that, but you know, at the top, this is you know, this is what it has. And it's just gorgeous. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, guys. I'm so excited that I finally was able to get my hands on a bottle. I think I saw the very first review about this one, like, I don't know, like three months ago or two or three months ago because it came out in Europe and the States first and it did here. And when I saw that it was launching, oh my God, I didn't think about it. I went right ahead and got myself a bottle because I've been waiting. I just knew that it was gonna smell amazing. I don't know why. I just knew the bottle, the rose gold with the blue. And I just, I'm like, I need a bottle. I really hope that it smells as pretty as I feel like it does look on the bottle. And I was not mistaking. It definitely is a beautiful, super fresh, super feminine, delicate, feminine, fresh type of fragrance. So like I was saying on tip number one, designers are gonna have a lot better deals, both in value and in prices than niche fragrances. So now is the time to stock up on anything that you've been eyeing. So once again, this was Rose Gold by the House of Tiffany. So the next tip, staying all within the value set conversation is that the best value sets happen right now during the holiday season. I know that throughout the year, there's different events, there's value, Valentine's, Mother's Day, and Father's Day. Well, that would be for uh, men fragrances, but there are different types of events throughout the year that if, you know, you are able, obviously Black Friday, Cyber Monday, but where you can get really good deals. However, what I'm trying to say is that the best type of value sets where they give you the most within the value set, I feel happen during the holidays where you get a larger lotion where you get an extra second like hand purse spray or something like that. So you get a little bit more for your money. And because we have Black Friday and Cyber Monday that I don't know if this video is being live or it's going live before or after, but if, if you were able to take advantage of any extra savings, some of these department stores, they actually extend these savings all the way until the end of the year. So always be on the lookout for any extra deals 
but at the end of the day, the perfume gift sets during the holiday season have the better value than the rest of the year. The very next fragrance that I wanna share with you guys is probably one that you're not going to be surprised because when I reviewed the little 10 ml, I was blown away of how much I liked it and I had to get a full size bottle. And I am talking about Invite Only by the House of Kaali, you know, Amber 23. It is just, obviously you've seen the box. It's a beautiful box and we have the gorgeous amber looking bronze looking matching my sweater a little bit you know no maybe yes uh, yeah guys when I smelled the little 10 ml I was like no that's it I'm getting a full bottle and I absolutely love it this fragrance heavy hitter super sexy performance beast mode it's just like everything it's a 10 i love the fact that i have the little 10 ml because i'm collecting all of the little ones but i couldn't use it up i didn't want to you know i i like so much the fragrance that i knew that if i just relied on that little 10 ml it was going to go like this so i needed to get myself a full-size bottle and oh my god i absolutely love it i'm not going to spray it in the air because as you saw when i sprayed the tiffany it just like i ate the whole thing <laughs> but let's take a look at the famous infamous you know kaali spray it's just gorgeous this is dangerous it's dangerous of how good it is and you know what I did the other day I layered it with vanilla 28 and then I had the audacity to layer it with uh, pink pepper I have a decant of pink pepper I don't have the little one just yet because it's sold out everywhere anyways I was just playing around I'm like let me just layer everything I have and see what I find I layered this one with pink pepper. It was explosion. Like, thank God I just did a little bit. My preference was when I combined it with vanilla 28. So when I did a combination, I layered this with vanilla 28. It was beautiful. I did more of vanilla 28 than this. I did probably like five sprays of vanilla 28 and maybe two of this. I just wanted just, just, you know, like a touch, like a little, you know, a little extra something just to give the vanilla 28 like a kick to see if I can just like, you know, make it a little bit more and it ump it up so, so good. Oh guys, this is awesome. I'm not gonna get too much into, you know, uh, too much details because I'm sure you, you guys have seen it. Real quick on the main accords, we have sweet, amber, warm, spicy, uh, cherry, tobacco, cinnamon, woody, nutty, vanilla. For the top notes, we got sour cherry, tobacco leaf, honey, chocolate, and hazelnut. I mean, that is an incredible opening. Then on the middle notes, we got cillian cinnamon, may rose, damask rose, and citrus leaf. It gives a little bit of freshness. And then on the base notes, we have amber, agar wood, or oud, vanilla, benzoin, cypress oil, patchouli, musk, and sandalwood. It's creamy, it's sexy, it's vanilla. It has chocolate and honey and oh my god i just absolutely love this combination of this fragrance and although it's not extremely sweet i like sweet fragrances and i still feel very feminine with this fragrance but oh my god i absolutely love it happy i got into a full-size bottle happy i got to try it in the little baby one and i'm sure that if you guys if you've layered it with anything else let me know in the comments below what are your combos what are your favorite kayali combos i would love to know and the next combo that i want to try is this one with deja vu white flower 57 i feel like there's going to be a really good connection between those two as well i'll let you know how it works if you have tried it let me know in the comments below but anyways this was amber 23 invite only by kayali the next tip i have for you is is that when looking for those value sets of your favorite designers or these fragrances that you've been wanting to add to your collection the best place or the stores that may have a larger supply are going to be your department stores so for example Macy's JC Penney um, Dillard's I'm trying to think of all the department store in the States Bloomingdale's um, here in Canada I would say the Bay the Hudson Bay so any department store that is not necessarily like top tier uh, high scale fragrances you know even Nordstrom it, I would include Nordstrom's and Saks Fifth Avenue but a lot of these department stores they have a larger public therefore they have a lot more supply and a lot more stock available which will allow you to have a little bit better chances on getting a hold of your designer um, gift sets or you know when you're trying to save and get more for your money they also run really good deals 
Also, a lot of these gift sets are, how can I say, they're going to be exclusive to a particular department store. So for example, Tiffany that I just spoke about, maybe the Tiffany gift set that you would find at Dillard's is a different gift set that would be available at Macy's or it would be a, diff a different gift set that it would be available at Nordstrom. So depending on the store, they may have a different gift set with different products inside or different sides, uh, size of products inside. So that's another thing to look for. So do your shopping, look around. If you don't want to go store to store, just look on their website and see what they have available. And you can compare not only prices and not only discounts, but at the same time, the value that is inside your gift box. And I think that is a really good tip to keep in mind. Now the next, oh my God. So the last, this is the last thing we have to open. So look at this guys. When I got this box by a beautiful YouTuber that I'm going to tell you. I cried and she knows I cried because I sent her a video. <laughs> I was just so touched, so overwhelmed that someone in the community, first off, would offer me their friendship. And at the same time, someone that would be nice to me because I'm a new channel. I'm just teeny bitty, you know, small. And you know, when you see these larger channels that are obviously they have paid their dues and they are doing fantastic in the platform, we look up to them. They are like our little heroes. And when you start building relationships, you never expect that there's going to be so much kindness on the other side. And I'll tell you exactly who it is. So this this is a little package, a little care package, a little love package that I got from the beautiful Elithia Marie. I was overwhelmed at the fact that she would, you know, just kindly offer to send me a little something. I believe we were having a conversation. I think I was a little down that day or something like that. And we were just talking, you know, perfumes and stuff like that. And when I got this box, I was just overwhelmed. So I'm going to open it. I put everything back so I can show you. I opened this box and look how full of stuff it was i was like oh my god i could not believe it everything was wrapped up individually i got some cute extra samples of things that i wanted to smell so she sent me some samples and uh, um, one of them is one of her favorites uh contre moi by louis vuitton and uh oriana by uh, parfum de marley which i hadn't had an opportunity to smell just yet and she said she wanted me to discover um, Fragrance du Bois. So she sent me a beautiful uh, discovery set from Fragrance du Bois that she already had the opportunity to smell. So stay tuned. I'm going to start doing, I have a lot. Not only this, I have a ton of different samples and I definitely want to start doing those videos, the sniff and test or something like that to see if they're four bottle worthy. Let me know in the comments below. Would you like me to do something like that? I'll share all of my decans and all of my, you know, little samples and let's play and see if those are full bottle worthy, if it's worthy the full size investment uh, and discover which ones are the best. And if we have similar taste, then I'm sure that we will be able to find something fun. Anyways, back to this. This has, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten different scents from Fragrance du Bois, which is a house that I've been dying to have in my collection. I've been dying to smell it. It's not available in my area. I can't just walk into a store and smell, you know what they have so she sent that to me and i'm super stoked and i'm definitely going to um, make some content for you guys if you have a favorite in the fragrance du bois collection or house please let me know in the comments below so i can you know look it up and see which ones you like best and then after that she sent me a full size guys when i saw this i lost it i lost it <laughs> I don't even know how to say it. I just, I was so overwhelmed. I'm even like, as I'm talking to you right now, like my eyes are getting too, my eyes, oh my goodness. My eyes are getting teary because again, like I said, I was not expecting the kindness. It's not the fact that they're beautiful fragrances. It's not the fact that, you know, she's sharing, you know, and passing along some of the things that, you know, she um, potentially, you know, she just wanted me to discover. But it's the fact that you uh, come into this industry not knowing what to expect. And sometimes it doesn't go very happy. It doesn't go very well. It's not very positive. And I'm just so grateful for all of you that have been nothing but Oh my God, am I gonna get like super emotional here? A few moments later. Not only am I super grateful for all of you, you have been extremely kind 
every single message has been so beautiful and so uplifting even the days that I'm super tired that I have a lot of work and I still need to make sure that I'm consistent and I bring you guys what I promise which is at least you know a weekly video to sit here and share all of this with you and you guys have been great and the people that I've been meeting the other colleagues within the platform they have been great as well and I just I'm super grateful I can be more happy I've never encountered this before anyways enough of the sentiments <laughs> Let's get into the fragrance. So she sent me one of the Essence de Parfum uh, from Roja. And this one is, dun, 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 let's take a look. When I opened this, I was, I was ecstatic, guys. Oh, look at this, how beautiful. Oh my goodness. So this one is uh, Essence de Parfum 51, which is one that I was dying to try. I wanted to try 51 so, so bad and Oh my god it's so beautiful it's so so beautiful and i was just again ecstatic that she sent something so thoughtful to me so beautiful something that you know i've been wanting to just try for the longest time and it was not possible for me so uh, this is my very first raja my very first time that i'm smelling raja and uh, i absolutely love it however there's a sneak peek there's a little bit of uh exciting Raja Hall coming soon so but at the time this was the very first one that I had smelled and I absolutely loved it I thank her so so much but let's talk about this fragrance and how do I feel about it how do I interpret it it's a beautiful floral I think that it's so funny because our nose changes so much. I didn't used to be into florals. I didn't used to be into like super sticky, sweet, syrupy gourmands. And now that's all I love. <laughs> I love amber. I love floral. But this is a beautiful floral. Let me take a look at the notes. First off, let's take a look at the atomizer because you know how it is. I love me some atomizers. So it's a beautiful long mist. Oh my god, oh my god, my room smells so so good. On the main accords, we have white floral, woody, sweet, vanilla, powdery, yellow floral, amber, warm, spicy, fruity, and balsamic. Top notes, we got bergamot. Then on the middle notes, we have a ton of good stuff. Ylang Ylang, raspberry, gardenia, orange blossom. I love me some orange blossom. Tuberose, lily, lily of the valley, may rose, and jasmine. And then on the base notes, we have vanilla, benzoin, cashmere wood, sandalwood, orris, violet, cinnamon, anise, clove, and patchouli. And patchouli definitely helps a fragrance last a little bit longer. Guys, it is beautiful. I would say this is a fragrance that I wouldn't see it in full heavy winter performing really well, but I have tried it and on me, it lasts all day. I get really good performance. I get a good six, seven hours and it's going strong. When I test it, I look at my time and then I keep on smelling until I don't smell it no more. And good eight, nine hours for sure, for sure, for sure, if not more. And I absolutely love it, but I do feel that it's not necessarily like a winter type of fragrance. I would wear this in the springtime, the summertime, fall, all the way until is like super freezing temperatures maybe not so much it's a super feminine delicate type of fragrance i see this being super office safe it's a beautiful fragrance that you can use for meeting the parents going to brunch with your girls um, going to you know all of those events that are super soft like a baby shower or like a bridal shower or a gender reveal or something like that any of those events where you want to feel pretty sophisticated and feminine but you don't want to be like <laughs> watch out here i am like the projection is extremely loud i think it has a really good performance and i absolutely love the scent profile so this was essence de parfum by roja 51. so needless to say that i am very very grateful so thank you so much elethia for the beautiful package i really appreciate it thank you for allowing me to discover these incredible fragrances and the last tip that i have for you to maximize your savings or your value with the fragrances this holiday season is once you have pinpoint which value set you like the most or you feel that it has the most for your money 
or that you've been able to get a good discount or an extra discount on the holiday season, consider that maybe you just want to keep the bottle, but anything extra that comes, whether it is a full-size body lotion, a full-size shower gel, or a travel size for of the fragrance, those are extra things that if you don't like it, you can actually sell it on a marketplace or to a friend, and you can recuperate some of the money that you initially invested in the actual value set, allowing you to have your fragrance at a discount and at the same time not necessarily losing on all of the money if you have any tips on how to save any extra coins on these beautiful value sets or on the fragrances this holiday season let me know in the comments below I would definitely love to learn from you I these are the ones that I have used so far and I definitely try to see these department stores because I know that they usually have the best value on the gift sets so that was it for today thank you so much for joining me in another video if you haven't done so please give this video a thumbs up and if you enjoyed some of the fragrances or the tips that I shared with you today please consider joining the Santa tribe and hitting that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post the next videos I'm also going to be doing a few premieres so that you can actually be live with me and we can chat so let me know if that is to your interest I've done it but I need to get back and doing it again anyhow thank you so much guys Mwah. big kiss and I'll see you on the next video bye bye